Assalamu alaikum in the name of Allah the most gracious the most merciful this is virtual class of Pakistan International School Thai I am Muhammad Yaseen this English class is for the students of grade 8 we are going to do chapter 16 this is our 21st video in this class Dear students, after today's lesson, we shall be able to write the story, A friend in need is a friend indeed. We shall try to develop understanding of the passage given in chapter 16. We shall do exercises of this chapter and we shall understand the meaning and pronunciation of new words. We shall do one exercise of novel and about two exercises of grammar also. Dear students, this is the story, a friend in need is a friend indeed. You are very much aware of the layout of the story. This is a sample story, I shall read it for you and let us try to understand what is given here in this sample story. There lived two close friends in a certain village. They were very fond of traveling. One day they went to a forest to see the natural beauty. They were walking along the path of the forest. They noticed that they had lost their way. They knew it very well that the forest was full of various wild animals. So they promised one another that they would never leave each other in times of danger. One friend knew how to climb on a tree, but the other did not. Anyway, they were walking through the jungle and searching the way. All on a sudden, they saw a bear coming towards them. They both got frightened. One friend said, Dear friend, I will climb up a tree. As you don't know how to climb, run away. The other friend became very disappointed hearing this. Why he became disappointed? Because they had promised with each other not to leave the other one alone. Let us see what happens. But he knew that a bear doesn't touch a dead body. So, finding no other way, he capitalized the idea. He capitalized the idea means he followed the idea and fell flat on the ground like a dead person. When he guessed that the beer was just beside him, he stopped breathing. The beer smelled the body of the lying friend and thought him to be a dead body. So, it did not touch him and went away gently. The friend on the tree saw everything. When the bear went away, when the bear had gone, he got down from the tree. He went to his friend and asked him eagerly, Dear friend, what did the bear whisper into your ear? In reply, the friend said, a friend in need is a friend indeed. At this the false friend felt embarrassed and left the place. So we must be very careful in choosing friends. The moral is a friend in need is a friend indeed. What does it mean? The real friend is the person who helps you when you are in need. Otherwise he is a false friend. Dear students, this is sample story as I told you before. You can add in it, you can leave from it. You can change the sentence structure, sentences, vocabulary, whatever you like to write your own story. Otherwise, you can prepare it as it is also. Let us move forward, dear students. In our previous lesson, I read one part of chapter 5 of novel and I said you to read chapter 5. Today we shall do exercise 5. 
let us start doing first of all read the instructions there are 13 errors in this passage oh here is a passage there are 13 mistakes errors underline the wrong words and write the correct ones above them yes we shall try to find out the errors then we shall correct them also this is uh, the requirement of the exercise let us start reading i was sitting at the edge of edge of the road when i saw five travelers no four travelers is the correct option coming through the words the first man was small not he was small he was large with red hair and looked extremely hot and comfortable sorry cool and comfortable no hot and uncomfortable the second looked like a doctor no the correct one is lawyer because of his brown clothes the students here will be black clothes and white hat not hat the correct thing is wig do you know wig what is the wig wig okay let us try to find out dear students wig is head cover head cover having hair could you understand no <laughs> look at the picture now you should know wig is the covering of hair that you wear on your head this is wig is that clear now yes let us move forward the next man was a sheriff's officer not officer servant is the correct option plainly dressed in tartan what is tartan don't you know tartan is a type of uh, cloth let us see cloth with pattern of different colored squares you can see in the picture uh, the cloth is uh, having pattern square patterns this is called tartan the last i recognized as a servant sheriff's officer is the correct option i asked the second man not the second first man how to get to james stewart's house too late i realized i was speaking to red fox is the correct option just then there was a shot not were two shots the man gave a sigh uh, sigh is uh, when we breathe long breath his head rolled onto his shoulder Dear students, we have done exercise 5. This is the beginning of chapter 6 of our novel. I shall read this part. Then you will complete reading of chapter 6. In our next video, we shall do exercise 6. I shall read it for you. I find Alan again. I escape from the red coats. When I heard the shouts of the lawyer, I was filled with terror. They were accusing me of murder. My life was in great danger. Some of the soldiers began to turn after me while others tried to surround me. I was so frightened that I could not run. Then I heard a soft voice very close to me whisper, Quick, hide here in the wood. Hardly knowing what I was doing, I obeyed. There amongst the trees, I saw a man holding a fishing rod. It was Alan Breck. Dear students, uh, I have read this much. You will complete reading of this chapter. Then we shall do exercise in our next lesson. Dear students, now we shall do grammar in grammar this is exercise 21 let us read the instructions change the following sentences in through the past tense as shown in the example look at the example she informs me that she has already done the work look at the changes informs is changed into informed can you notice the change informs informed and the second change is here has had has had can you notice the second change here these are the two changes only we have to do uh, the same in all these 
given sentence is they tell me that they have already met you they tell tell will become told have will become had i think you know now number 2 nargis informs informs will become informed and this have will become had we shall do the same in each part uh, you can see here also for example here in number 6 the boy is under the impression is will change into was because we are said to change the sentences into the past tense we shall do the same in each part to complete this exercise these are the last four parts you can check it here again the mother feels feels will change into felt felt is the second form of the verb that is used for past tenses and has is present perfect uh, it will change into had past perfect as we are said to change present into past Uh, dear students we can see here for example part number 10 she tells me tells will change into told that she has once seen the boy has will change into had uh, in each part there are two changes both of the verb will change into past i think you have got understanding of this exercise let us move to the next Hmm. This is exercise twenty-two. Let us read the instructions. Write the most appropriate tense form of the verb in the brackets. We shall try to find out the appropriate tense of the verb. Here we are not said to change it into present or past or future. When I enter, dear students, in bracket here in your book it is given enter. the room the two boys were drinking tea were drinking tea is past continuous if in second part of the sentence there is past continuous then the first will also be in past it will be past simple we call it past indefinite also that is why we shall write here entered when i entered the room the two boys were drinking tea where have you been been is the verb form we can write here is r am was were been all these days where have you been be will change into been the train had left what were we given we were given leave and here is written had had with has have had we write left third form of the verb before i reached the station Uh, this work is done the train has gone when i reached the station the person reached the station later before that which work is completed the train had gone train had left that is why this will be written in past perfect when the sky will fall we shall catch larks larks are the birds this is a quotation we use it when someone does not want to do he will make such type of excuses and it is written in future tense yes students this is the next part of the exercise none of them knows how to solve the problem please help them it will be completed like this it is an ill wind that blows no one any good i saw a yellow bird as i came out of the room she informed me that she had invited all her friends to her birthday party dear students it will be done like this let us move forward part number 11 thomas edison invented he invented in past that is why we shall write second form of the verb the electric lamp in 1879 netball was originated that is in past the boy kicked that is in past i played that is in past the horse galloped across the field everything that is done in past will be done in past simple tense and we shall use second form of the verb yes students this is the next part of the exercise uh, we shall uh, book the tickets tomorrow 
uh, book yes with shell we shall write first form of the verb uh, Willem Rodgen discovered it is past second form will be used the market is open every Friday every Friday repeated action uh, present simple will be used Sarah will come yes in future we shall use first form it rained past all day yesterday past tense second form will be used dear students we have completed exercise 22 I think you know now how to do this exercise dear students we are going to read our next lesson that is lesson number 16 I want you get familiar with a few words which I think are new some of you may not be familiar with those for example continent continent means one of the seven main areas of land do you know the whole earth is divided into seven uh, dry areas which are called continents yes main area of land that is called continent dear students trace trace means to find someone something uh, scholar scholar is someone who has studied a subject and knows a lot about it substance is a solid liquid or gas all these are substances uh, exist means to be real or present uh, dear students this is uh, atlantis our next lesson which we are going to read just now that is about atlantis about Atlantis, uh, it is said that it was an island. People were living over there. When we read the lesson, you will try to understand. You will be able to understand, in fact. Uh, this is, I don't know, imaginary picture or real picture. You can see something has drowned, sunk in the sea. There is something like that. We shall read about the uh, island which is said to be existed in past it does not exist now there are several stories one of them we shall read in our lesson 16 i have given you this picture to give you some idea about the lesson in lesson 16 we are going to read about an island which does not exist now but there are several stories about that uh, yes students vanish means finish to disappear the sun vanished behind the trees uh, coast is the land next to the sea when we cross sea after crossing sea there is some area that is called coast substance solid liquid uh, yes dear students now we shall start the reading of our lesson this is lesson 16 the last word of atlantis many people believe that a lost word is buried under the waters of the atlantic ocean it is the continent of atlantis people have searched for traces of this lost word but nothing has yet been found perhaps there never was such a place as atlantis it is first mentioned in the writings of a Greek scholar named Plato. Plato set down the story about 350 years before the birth of Christ. Before this, the story had been passed on by word of mouth. Next part of the lesson is, Greek scholars first heard the story in Egypt. High priests there said that 9000 years before a powerful state had existed on an island beyond the pillars of hercules today the pillars of hercules are known as the straits of gibraltar the island state was beyond these straits in the atlantic ocean it was called atlantis Atlantis was bigger than the part of Africa known at that time. From the island, armies set out to conquer the world. They won battles in Europe and in Africa, but they were finally beaten by the armies of Athens in Greece. Yes, students, this is the next part of the lesson. Uh, the beaten armies returned to Atlantis then one day an earthquake took place next morning the island of atlantis had vanished the island had been a wonderful place 
and had been ruled by ten kings. It, its cities were made up of beautiful palaces and temples decorated with the silver, gold and ivory. The people of Atlantis worshipped the sun. They tried a mysterious substance named or orcalcum. Orcalcum. What is this orcalcum? Orcalcum is a yellow metal prized in ancient times, probably a form of brass. At ancient times they found uh, this metal, they called it uh, orcalc or orcalcum is the noun from that. Dear students, many people have written books about the lost continent of Atlantis. The most famous book being by an American, Ignatius Donnelly, a Prime Minister of Britain. William Gladstone read Donnelly's book. He felt that an expedition should be sent to look for the lost world, but the government refused to supply money for the venture. Dear students, this is the next part. Today, many students of history say the stories about Atlantis cannot be true. Atlantis is supposed to have existed in 10,000 BC. At that time, the people who lived in the western part of the world were hunters with weapons of stone. They lived in caves or in holes in the ground and had no idea of how to build palaces or temples. Yet students of ge geography believe that a piece of land may have sunk beneath the Atlantic Ocean between West Africa and South America. At the bottom of the ocean, there is a broad ridge higher than the ocean floor. It runs almost from island to the Antarctic. Some of the peaks of this ridge appear above the surface of the ocean. They form the Ozores, a group of islands of the west coast of Africa. But the geographers say that if this land did sink beneath the waves, it sank long before there were any men on earth. Dear students, these are different thinkings about that island which we are reading about. On the other hand, it is a fact that at the end of the ice age, water from melting ice changed the geography of the world. This was between 10,000 BC and 5,000 BC. For example, England and France be became separated at this time of the English Channel. Some people believe that the Atlantis was destroyed when the moon took up its present position near the earth. Tides are caused by the moon and it is possible that the first tides were great movements of the seas. So great that our continent became buried under the waters. Another idea is that the planet Venus caused a flood in 1882. Venus came between the earth and the sun. It came between the earth and the sun again in 2004. Perhaps at one time Venus came very close to the earth. Then the clouds around the planet turned to water and an up rain fell to cause a flood. In the flood perhaps the continent of Atlantis was covered. This is another thinking. Dear students, this is part number 6 of this passage. Today on the other side of the world, in the Pacific Ocean underwater, Volcanoes sometimes cause small islands to appear. Sometimes these islands vanish. Could a continent vanish in the same way? This is another thinking about the island. People who believe that it could believe uh, in Atlantis, they believe that somewhere beneath the rolling waves of the Atlantic Ocean of the coast of West Africa lies this lost world. They imagine its beautiful palaces and temples, its status of gold, silver and ivory. They wonder about that mysterious substance named Orcalcum. 
Sometimes people go to search for Atlantis. They drop lines to the bottom of the ocean and hope to pull up something from the last word. So far, no one has proved whether or not the continent of Atlantis ever existed. It is one of the world's mysteries. Yes, students, we have read the whole text, whole passage given in this lesson. Uh, now we shall move to the exercise in uh, comprehension and vocabulary section. There is exercise A. We are set to complete these sentences by adding words from the passage. Number one, number one will become Asia is the largest continent. Yes. If a whole continent had disappeared, we would expect some traces. A scholar is another name for a student. Salt is a chemical substance. Some people say that Atlantis never existed. Dear students, this is exercise B. Find words from the passage with the same meaning. We have to find similar meaning. Person trained to perform religious act that is priest, a channel of water connecting two seas, that is called satrate, men, ships, etc. making a journey, that is called expedition, undertaking in which there is a risk, that is called venture, figures of persons or animals carved in stone, wood, etc. that is called statues. Dear students, this is exercise C in which we are said to say whether these statements are true or false. People believe that Atlantis once existed because traces of it have been found. Is it true? No, no traces are found. The first time that Atlantis was mentioned in writing was in about 350 BC. Yes, it was. Plato was able to describe Atlantis because he had been there. No, he uh, was not there. Atlantis was thought to have been an island in the Straits of Gibraltar. Is it true? No. Atlantis was bigger than Africa is now. No, it is not true. Paragraphs para 4 and 5 give us a brief history of Atlantis. Yes, it is true. Atlantis may have once existed yes it may be true may but there is written may we are not sure uh, we have put here a tick because there is written may dear students this is exercise d we shall answer the questions why do many students believe that stories about atlantis are untrue first of all because no traces are found next because if the continent did exist the things which are mentioned existing there at that time were not available at that time. Do the geographers agree or disagree? What are the geographers disagree in part and agree in part? Yes, they totally do not agree or disagree, but uh, they are in the middle. Uh, the Azores Islands are the tops of mountains that might have been on a continent that sank. They think like this. There are reasons given here. Dear students, this is question number three. What caused England and France to become separated? Melting ice. Yes, water of melting ice uh, separated England from France. Uh, how could the moon be responsible for the disappearance of the continent? The moon controlled tides. So, before the moon began to orbit the earth, there would be no tides. When the moon first began to orbit the earth, the tides might have submerged low-lying land. Yes, students, it is like this. This is question number five. How many possible explanations for the disappearance of Atlantis are mentioned in this passage? Five reasons are mentioned. Earthquake, water from melting ice, influence of moon, flood caused by Venus, the way in which some volcanic islands simply disappear. This is the answer of question number five. Question number six is, after reading the passage, try to decide whether you think Atlantis ever existed. 
Perhaps you can think of something not mentioned in the passage. Atlantis probably never existed as a civilization. The possibility of its existence seems to be based on ancient accounts and legend. Also, nothing about the continent has ever been discovered and that even if the land ever did exist, advanced civilization would not have been possible at that time. Therefore, it is highly unlikely that it existed. This can be our answer. Yes, students, this is your homework. In your homework, you will learn and write the story. A friend in need is a friend indeed. You will do all exercises in your notebook, including grammar and novel. We have done one exercise of novel, two exercises of grammar, and a few exercises from your from our book given at the end of the passage in our lesson. Uh, yes, dear students, that is all from our today's lesson. See you later in a new lesson. Goodbye.